Black white unemployment gap soars as black unemployment rate jumps while we have our first female black president or partially black. So, surprise, surprise, the United States saw the widest gap in unemployment rate for African Americans and whites in years at the conclusion of the first year of Biden's presidency underscoring an uneven recovery from the coronavirus pandemic and Biden administration's failure to meet the promise to foster foster racial equity in the economy. The jobless rate for whites fell half a percent point to 3.2 percent, while the rate for blacks rose 6.7 to 7.1%, according to the data released by the Labor Department on Friday. Now, whether you agree with the orange guy or not, when he made these statements about doing more for African-American community than any other person or president, he was ridiculed. And even though I don't necessarily care for his politics, I met people that were released from prison because of his policies. I actually met uh, one of 100 people that was released under a change that happened under the Trump administration. I personally met that person. Um, Do I support Trump as a politician? No. Do I support Democrats? No. I support what's in the best interest of people, whether that good people, of course, I am looking out for my community as an African-American father. So, of course, I'm looking to help my people first, not at the detriment of any others. And I don't expect any other culture to help me or my culture before they help their culture. That's foolish. You can't help anybody until you help yourself. Now, with that being said, the data speaks for itself. Now we have the Department of Labor basically showing you that white employment has increased and black employment has decreased. Remember, we were told we weren't black if we didn't vote for the Democratic Party. So I have to ask, what have you done for us lately?